And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and with me is my commentary partner, Lee Dixon. And we have the first match in the Conmebol Libertadores group stage coming right up for you. It's Gremio, and they face Independiente del Valle. Well, thank you, Derek. With being big favourites, complacency can be a problem. You've got to use that to your advantage if you're playing a home side as expected to go through. Can they put the pressure on in the first 20 minutes and hold out and then try and nick the game in the second half? This is the lineup for the home team. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. The back four, the two fullbacks will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back, Lee? Not at all under Bruce Rock. It's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. Well, it's terrific to have the Copa Libertadores group stage finally underway. The biggest club competition here in South America with a rich history going back to the 60s. Lee, always a pleasure to be here commentating with you. But most importantly, who do you fancy to go all the way? Well, probably one of the sides from Argentina or Brazil, to be honest. They've been so dominant over the last few decades and it's hard to see past one of those powerhouses. Hopefully, we're proven wrong and there's maybe a few upsets along the way, Derek. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, pace. Just look how fast he runs. Absolute nightmare for defenders to defend against when the player has that weapon. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. It might be on for them. Dangerous looking attack. Able to close down the shot. And can they make one of these passes count? Looks promising this. It's opening up for them. He takes aim, just couldn't get it through. And he takes it on. Simple catch, really. Real danger. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Oh, they've lost it. Caicedo. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Pejerano. Big chance. Well, body in the way. Ortiz on and on he goes a chance to whip it in preferring to go infield he got in the way of that cross dangerous ball just the clearance that was called for. And you don't want to lose possession there.
Gives it a go. Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling, and they get the due reward. Well, as we see here, when the defenders close in on you, you've got to keep your cool, keep your head down, strike the ball, brilliantly done, ball in the back of the net. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Opening goal of the game, then. Sanchez. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Faravegi. Can they get in behind them? And the danger is averted. Not showing good vision. Will he play it in? The first half here comes to an end. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. The two teams have switched around. And are ready now for the second half. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. How can they open up the defence here? Keeping possession of the ball with authority. And options in the centre. Getting in there to intercept. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Dangerous-looking attack. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Montenegro. And played the pass well. It might be on for them. This looks promising. Targets available, cross comes in. Well, the header didn't exactly go to plan. Well, I'm not sure what he did there, but he caught it on the top of his head, but whatever he did, it was a poor attempt. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. And it's played into the centre. Well, nothing comes of it. Could be a chance to break here.
good idea that particular move but not to be and a good looking ball well there to intercept it is a decent looking attack here Looks promising this. Oh, lovely ball. Is it going to be? Excellent block. Sanchez. Intelligent threaded pass here. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Sanchez. Pejerano. Ortiz. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. And the counter looks on here. Options available. He could pick out a teammate. Clears it away. Mera. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Pejerano. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. And that is full time, really the worst possible start, you've got to say. That's the last thing you need. Start of the qualifying stages. You don't need a zero point, Sally. You almost need memory loss now to forget about that. Down to five games to qualify. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me. He's just too good, simple.